Hi everybody, it's Dina with Golden Doodles of Tennessee. Wanted to give you an update on the puppies. We went to the vet today and everybody got a great report. There's no hernias, no heart murmurs, and uh, everybody looks great. So we're gonna just talk today about things that you need to know about your puppy and what to do. <clears throat> we're gonna talk about crate training, potty training, how much food to put out, when to get them groomed, all the things. So, I'm trying to make y'all see puppies. Okay, so make the appointment for grooming. I would make an appointment at five months. And at five months, you'll take them in, they'll do a little pet, um, what do they call it, a puppy groom? And that's basically where they trim the face, and then they do a little sanitary groom on their bottoms. And that's the intro to grooming. And then maybe a month and a half, six weeks later, you'll take them back. And if they need another cut, they'll cut their hair. Or if they just need to do a little, um, a little touch up cut, they'll do that. Um, but I would go ahead and get it set up because you, you don't want to not have it. And the way groomers are working right now, you're going to need to have it in advance. Also, you need to set an appointment with your veterinarian. Um, we like to have it done within five days of going home. That shows you you have a healthy puppy. Shows me you can follow directions and follow the contract. Um, food, I put out about a cup of food a piece in, right now I'm feeding them in their crate. And once, if they don't eat that, then at lunch, that's still there for them or dinner, or I'll add to it. They're, uh, they're, they're eating pretty good right now because they are outside about four times a day to go potty. So we're introducing them to potty in outside and they play out there. And they just have a blast. Play with their Auntie Green Bean or Mama Gigi. So that's food. Um, I will resend to those who didn't get the Royal Canaan email. I'll send that again. Uh, potty training. So what you're going to want to do for potty training is you're going to want to, if, you, if you're going to work all day at home and you need them to have a litter box, the litter box is actually a rabbit tray. You get it at Tractor Supply. And the litter is actually alfalfa. I think this one's called orchard grass um, because it, it, it makes for easy cleanup. We've done a lot of research, trust me. Um, so the litter box is a great thing to have because they are already trained to it. And if there is an accident, it's because they were in the box, but they were too far over and it went out of the box. That's where we're at right now. So you are the sweetest thing. Yes, you are. Blue boy. Are you blue girl? You might be, you're blue girl. You have your pretty brown nose. Yes, you are. Uh, so that's if you're going to litter box. If you're going to have a cross pen or X pen, whatever they call it, um, you can put a little litter box in there. And what that basically does is give you permission to walk out of the room, you know, take care of something in the kitchen and not worry about whether they're going to have an accident because the litter box is in there. But it's totally up to you whether you do it or not. Um, once they go home, that's, that's whatever y'all choose to do. A lot of people do bells. You can do your research and maybe you want to do bells and take them outside. Um, they're very tired right now. That's why everybody's taking a nap. Because they just, we just literally just got back from the vet. Um, so we did food. When you're potty training, you're going to want to only put the food and water down at specific times during the day. So do not leave it down all day. Because if you do, they're going to go to the bathroom nonstop in your house. Um, so put it down at breakfast, which I usually feed between 6 and 8 a.m. Just whenever we all get up and then pick it up if they don't need it. Take them outside. Then put it down again at lunch. I love it when their ear flips back like that. Put it down again at lunch. Pick it up whenever they lose interest and have eaten it all or get bored. Put it down again at dinner. If you see that they're hungry, hungry in between, you can put it down again. But if they're not, you know, you don't want them pooping and peeing all day in your house. So just pick it up when they're done. And what that also does is teaches them you can't eat all day. You eat when the food's provided. When the food is taken away, you wait until the next time. 
it's a very good way to train them. And it also lets you train, you know, the potty training makes it easier. So we did food, we did grooming, we did potty training. What am I forgetting? <clears throat> uh, water, the same as food. We put a bunch of water out and take it back up when you're ready to take them uh, outside or when they're done drinking. Um, they're gonna mouth, which is what he's doing. That's called mouthing. Um, make sure you get lots of chew toys. He has chew toys in there, but he likes my fingers. My finger, oh, it's a sheet. My fingers are good. <clears throat> um, so get lots of Kongs, lots of Nyla bones. Um, we do like the little deer antlers. Those are nice too, um, but they are going to chew. So if you have little kids at home, make sure that you get them training because this is what they're gonna be doing to your little kids and it's just part of teething. It's just, they're not being bad, they're not being mean, they're just teething. What else am I forgetting? I should have made a list. Food, mouthing, training. You, you're gonna wanna get them trained regardless, um, just for better puppies. Uh, there's a trainer on YouTube called Zach George that I watch. He has great ideas for training and I trust him. He's a fear-free trainer, so he does not use uh, intimidation, hitting, anything like that. Ow! To train. No, uh, no collars that shock them or anything. I'm not saying they're bad. They have a place. I'm just saying I prefer not to use them. <clears throat> I was a preschool teacher, so redirection is what we always do. <laughs> so these guys are exhausted. They've been outside. They've been to the vet. They've had their lunch. And now it's night night time. If your puppy is getting into trouble, if you find them being very mischievous and not not listening, which is gonna be some quite a bit of times, just know that that's normal and they probably, just like toddlers, need a nap. If they're getting into things, get them a nap. <clears throat> Put them in their crate and let them go to sleep. Oh, that's what I was gonna talk to you about, crate training. So they've been introduced to their crate. Um, they rode in their crate all the way to the vet and back. Oh, spam. Um, but that doesn't mean they're good at it yet. So you're gonna want to maybe fill a Kong with peanut butter or you can uh, let them eat in their crate. You can leave the crate in their room with the door open, let them come and go. But the easiest thing for you to do when you first get them home is to uh, put the crate on a chair beside your bed. And you do that so that when they wake up in the middle of the night, you can just roll over, put your hand in there, let them know you're not alone. We cover our crates as well. So cover your crate with a blanket and we'll give you a blanket. And then just let them know they're not alone and they should quieten back down and go back to sleep. If they don't go back to sleep after five or 10 minutes, you might wanna take them outside, let them go potty, but don't make it a habit of getting up with them. Try to get them to go back to sleep. And we just take a dining chair into our bedroom and put the crate on top of that. And that just helps them know um, they're not alone. We're right here, you can go back to sleep. And then as the days go on, you can move the crate slowly back out of the room to whatever room you want them in, whether it's in your room or dining room, whatever. Um, I guess that's it. I can't think of anything else. Um, you're going to want to take them places. Um, they're only going to have two shots when they go home. So if you take them somewhere, my suggestion is take them in the car, let them ride in the car, take them into Home Depot, the grocery store, whatever, but put them in the cart and do not let them walk if they walk they're going to be exposed to things that their little bodies haven't been exposed to yet so just let them sit in the crate and let pe let them people watch and let them get exposed to socialize to new things run the vacuum when they're sleeping you know do all the things that will help make a better rounded puppy all right well that's all i've got for now uh, the meet and greet is on saturday if you have any questions let me know otherwise i'll be sending out the meet and greet um, Google Meets to the few that have asked, and we will see y'all Saturday.
Have a great day, everybody. Bye. I know. We're going to go see the vet. Are y'all ready to see the vet? You three are rambunctious. Hi. Are you ready to see the vet? Let's go see the vet. Let's get a ride in our wagon. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Y'all ready? Can you hear that person? Can you hear that?